Welcome back to Simulation Station um, for episode 5 of our um, Detroit Tigers playthrough. Um, it is the off season right now. Um, in the last episode, we went through arbitration hearings um, and we found out what we'll be paying our players in that. We offered some minor league extensions um, and kind of just reviewed some of the players on our team. Um, so, right now we have. Uh, 10.5 million dollars for uh free agents that is after bumping up the scouting budget to six million dollars and the development budget to eight million um so that's a four million dollar um four million dollars that we took from our money for free agents and put into um development uh essentially um organizationally so i feel we have players that are ready to be um, productive at the big league level um, or at least give us some time at the big league level um, so I think that this offseason is going to be relatively uh, boring for us to say the least so uh, I'm not sure what we'll be doing um, exactly yet um i've only seen a few of the players um the big big names that are going to be out there so some of the big names that are going to be in free agency this year carlos correa um looks like he's injured actually right now but should be ready to go by the season 36 year old lorenzo kane um xander bogart short st um shortstop third base looks like even for um the uh boston red Sox previously clayton kershaw josh bell Joe Musgrove, 29-year-old, um, um, probably is going to earn himself a paycheck. Um, Yuli Gurriel, 38-year-old, um, aging, um, but productive player um, over the last few years. Joey Gallo, big power, big strikeouts. Uh, Mike Zanino, another big power, big strikeout kind of guy. And then A.J. Pollock, 34-year-old outfielder. Um, we do have some international free agents, um, most notably um, Nelson Huerta out of Mexico. 32 years old, um, left-hand bat, shortstop. Um, plays the game at full throttle, a spark club, plug, adaptability, um, high and work ethic high. So that's great to see. Um, profiles really well uh, profiles more at second base um, even though he's listed as a shortstop can pretty much play anywhere on the infield so that's an uh, interesting one and then Frank Soto out of Cuba uh, a prof another uh, guy that profiles really well um, more of a contact guy uh, great at avoiding K's probably a solid leadoff guy um, top of your lineup kind of guy 31 years old so he's a year younger out of Cuba, um, right-handed bat instead of left. Um, profiles as a middle infielder, so not as much um, versatility as the previous. Um, so, um, yeah, some big names there. Um, so those could be guys that we kind of keep our eye on, but I'm sure they're going to earn themselves a uh, nice contract with uh, whatever team that they decide to go to. So looking at our... Um, uh, bullpen and rotation projected for the next season. Um, I think that we're our main um, goal this year is to go out and get ourselves a left-handed uh, reliever. Um, I feel like Chafin can be a solid uh, guy to continue in our closer role. Um, Joe is setting himself up to be a possible closer later on. Um, Ronnie comes in off a pretty good season, at least the beginning of the season, um, has really proved himself um, at 24 years old, so that's good to see. Brian Garcia is probably one of the guys that we're going to be moving um, down um, if we do find ourselves um, signing a left-handed uh, pitcher for a bullpen, um, as well as Funkhauser. Has some, we have some versatility there with him. So... Um, yeah, that's kind of the update on the um, pitchers, pitching staff, um, and kind of where we're going to try and go with that. So as I was actually glancing over our <laughs> lineup, our projected lineup, 
Miguel Cabrera wasn't there. Um, this is a he, email I completely missed. Um, he decided to retire. So, um, unfortunate. He is, uh, he's, he was one heck of a leader in our clubhouse, but he coming off another bad season with Detroit, um, at the age of 39. I mean, I don't really blame him, uh, but a good thing for us is that we have that contract off our books. So that's going to be nice. Um, but I mean, he had a, he, he kept, uh, in keeping with his last three seasons, uh, batting 242, 16 home runs and 64 RBIs solid in the middle of our lineup. Um, so unfortunate that, uh, a big, uh, long time member of our organization has retired, but from a organizational perspective to have that contract off is very good. Um, another thing that we kind of didn't go over is the review of our uh, last season um, in the eyes of uh, Illich. So, um, so we didn't disappoint him with our record, which is good, um, which was pretty much just don't suck. Um, so apparently 74 and 88 doesn't, doesn't suck um, in his eyes. Um, so he's also just kind of reiterating um, his uh, goal for us to uh, make the playoffs by 2027. So, yeah, um, it's good um, that we uh, pleased the owner at least a little bit. And it looks like we also are going to be given... Um, 144 total. Um, so this will allow us a team payroll of 90,000. Um, you may now set your ticket prices. Okay. So, yeah, and also we have done that. So we did uh, set our ticket prices. to actually lower them um, with hopes that we can get some more fans in the ballpark. Um, these are actually 50 cents lower than last year. So hopefully that'll help hope, help sell some more ticket uh, season tickets and uh, yeah, increase some fan loyalty there. So going over our possible uh, lineup, um, Going into next season, um, before any free agency, uh, Eric Haas, who we project to be starting at uh, catcher or splitting time with uh, Jake Rogers, actually, it looks like Hinch has that the other way around. So, again, we're trusting Hinch. So, Jake Rogers looks like, for now, will be our starting catcher, both against lefties and righties. Um, it looks like... So, and then we have Spencer Torgelson, Manning first base, Zach Short and Willie Castro. Uh, Zach Short's projected to uh, start at first, or at second. Um, he only hit 183 in 444 plate appearances <laughs> um, last season. So, um Showed up some more power than we expected, so that's good to see. Um, and he drove in nearly 50 home runs, so um, played above his replacement level. Um, so uh, he uh, he's young still; he's got time. Well, I guess he is getting 27, so he doesn't have much time. But he showed some power at least for us. Um, but the average has got to get up a little bit there if he wants to continue to. Um, maintain that spot. Jamer Candelario coming off a, a decent season. Um, third most, uh, well, 68 RBIs, um, 15 home runs. Uh, pretty low average and well below his uh, replacement level, which isn't great to see. Javi Baez, a guy that we have locked up for a while. Um, pretty low average, but he is a pretty big swing and Swing and miss kind of guy, but uh, hit 21 home runs yeah, with 72 RBIs. Kiel Badu uh, hit four, or 248, um, which I'm happy with um, in his second year in the bigs at the age of 24. Um, 
18 home runs, 71 RBIs. Meadows, again, had his season cut short, missed three months, I believe, um, with an injury. Um, so he hit nine in 38 through um, 325 plate appearances. So we'll see what he can do with a full season. Hopefully he can because we have extended him into his age 32 season. So it's going to be five years, $37 million. Derek Hill is projected to start at center field, both against lefties and righties. Um, hit three or er, two thirty five for us. Um, so yeah, with eight stolen bases, um, he spent a lot of his time in um, Toledo, um, but in, where he hit pretty well. So then Riley Green is going to be our starting right fielder just tore it up in the month of September last year. Nine home runs, 22 RBIs in that month, hitting 295. So hopefully he can continue that. Um, and then Victor Reyes, the guy that we uh, offered uh, $1.4 million to, I think, is what his arbitration was this year. So he's going to be our backup uh, outfielder, it looks like. Switch hitter. Had a relatively decent season, um, so... We shall see, but we will definitely be looking at second base, um, although we do have some options in our uh, lower levels. Um, Wencio Perez um, got himself some playing time at second uh, last season in Toledo. Uh, didn't do too bad there. Uh, as well as Guzman, the guy we traded for. Um, just a solid bat throughout his career. Um, hitting high twos most of the time, uh, low threes. Um, only had a few at bats in Toledo, which where he didn't do too well. But he's a guy we'll keep our eye on at 24 years old to fill that second base spot, um, as well as. Ryan Kreidler, um, shortstop, third base. Obviously, not much of a. Uh, Second baseman, but um, he's another guy that we'll keep our eye on after hitting 20 home runs and 80 RBIs last season. Triple A. So, yeah, we got Guzman and uh, Perez that we're kind of looking at, as well as Zach Short. Uh, so, all right, time to dive into some free agents. So, looking through these uh, second base free agents, um, Nelson, Nelson Huerta is looking for um, a very large deal, um, $24 million, uh, I believe, for five years. He's looking for at the age of 32. Kike Hernandez, um, another guy, majority outfield, but plays a decent uh, second base. Um, so that could be an option there. But we're not really looking to sign anybody to that long of a deal. Um, I don't want to lock ourselves up um, with anybody yet so one of the biggest ones is uh this international free agent 31 year old frank soto um, shows that he has some gap power um solid bat he gray eyes at the plate plays an above average second base uh, could um so he uh, is definitely one we're going to keep our eye on and possibly offer an ex or offer a contract to. Um, only looking for four million over one year, so that could be that could be something to look into for us. Um, another guy that I'm looking at is Rubenet Odor. Um, obviously, a bit, quite a disappointment in New York, um, and then got or signed with Baltimore on a one-year deal last year, hitting two forty-four. 18 home runs, 45 RBI, so a decent year for him. Um, kind of on par with what you'd expect. Um, Solano, a 34-year-old, just a solid bat. With, yeah, and a quality guy in the leader, um, or, or in the clubhouse. So losing uh, Miguel, um, it would be nice to pick, a, or have another veteran presence to kind of, Lead the young guys. Um, so Solano's a guy that we could look into. Um, 
Adam Frazier would be nice, but looking for fifteen million. So I think our our main shot here is to go for Frank Soto, this uh Cuban born uh thirty one year old uh right handed bat. So um we'll see what we can figure out with him and then I will get back to you guys. So it turns out that he actually was only looking for a minor league contract with a major league option for $4 million. So that's actually exactly what we're going to offer him. Uh, his profile seems like it's definitely worth it. So uh, that's $4 million out of our uh, $10 million budget for this offseason. So um, we are going to submit that and see where that takes us with Frank Soto. So after looking so at some of the free agents, um, relief pitchers, uh, we said before that we're looking to add a lefty um, uh, into our uh, bullpen. That could be a late innings guy. And not a free agent, but I think that we found our guy. Um, I, I knew about this guy coming or in the, in the minors, but started the season in Lakeland. Um, and worked his way all the way up to Toledo um, in one season. He His profile is insane. Um, he already has a solid overall, and he his potential is through the roof. So um, he's a guy that uh, we are probably going to be giving an opening day spot to if he performs well in the spring training. Um, so... I'm thinking uh, this is our guy. This is our left-handed guy. Um, I know it's not anything too exciting, but he's a 25-year-old that um, profiles insanely well and is exactly what we're looking for. So um, I think that's what we're going to go for our bullpen. Um, and then mostly the rest of the free agency is going to be Organizational depth, essentially. Uh, we're going to be looking through our organization at our minor league levels and just kind of seeing where we can fill some spots with some more veteran-type guys. Maybe some guys that could create some uh, fan interest um, that could be popular. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're going to where we're going to head um, for the rest of this free agency period. So another change that we have just made to kind of to our finances that I figured would be. Uh, good to update you guys on is we had our draft budget set to 32 almost 33 million dollars i don't believe that we need that much we didn't even spend close to that um in our last draft so we lowered that down to the recommended amount um and upped our player development from 8 million to 12 million so uh, just investing back into um our organization a little bit Kind of an update on the top prospects that we have. We got Riley Green is the number one ranked prospect in baseball who we expect to make the opening day roster. Ty Madden, 22-year-old, pitching at Double uh, uh, Erie. Um, coming up in the coming up season. Brendan White, a guy that has surprised us last year that really na earned a name for himself. Started in West Michigan and pitched himself all the way up to Toledo last season. So... Um, guy to keep an eye on. Dingler, 118th. Um, another guy that we're looking forward to seeing, hopefully, in the coming years. And Gabriel Secura, the left-handed uh, pitcher that we recently talked about that we are hoping will have an impact on our team. Um, so that's, that's that. That's kind of an update on the minor leagues. All right, so a big trade has just been proposed to us by the Dodgers. Um, that would give us Gavin Lux second base, which is obviously a need for us. Um, Gavin Lux is a lefty bat, which is another solid thing for us with Meadows and Riley Green. Uh, I believe the only two that are in our lineup lefties, I guess, but do as well. So I, the lefty thing is really not that big of a deal, but um, a solid second baseman. Only 25 years old, still has one option in your left, so... Um, before his arbitration starts. Um, I mean, he played 1.0 above uh, replacement. Hit for 221, which isn't great, but... Uh, I mean, 
a solid player. Uh, nine nine home runs, sixty four RBI. So he uh, his last year's stats weren't the best, but he's a guy that, in my opinion, is worth taking a look at, um, especially for what we'll be trading. So Daz Cameron. Super disappointing year for us last year. Um, uh, 145 plate appearances, uh, four home runs, 11 RBIs, and hitting a 167 clip. So, and played below replacement level. So, not a huge hit for us, I don't think, especially with the acquisition of Jake Myers that we had last year. Um, he's a guy that's uh, re pretty much ready to go at the big league level if we need. And then a 19 year old, Christian Santana. Um, who played Dominican uh, in the Dominican League the last two seasons. Hitting uh, average, average, and uh, not not a whole lot uh, going on in the home runs, RBIs. Um, he does have a nice OPS plus. Um, so, I mean, he's a, he's a guy. He's a guy that could be something, uh, especially only at... 19 years old, but where we're at um, right now, I think that um, this trade is definitely worth us taking. Um, and, yeah, doing, um, especially with the guys that we have right now to fill the second base is Zach Short and Willie Castro, not anybody that we really want to be, like, <laughs> putting in the lineup every day. Um, so uh, this is one we're going to do. This We're going to complete this trade as it is. Um, Nice trade for us, um, and we're excited about that one. So we're uh, going to keep simming. Um, we haven't offered any contracts to anybody besides um, Soto, I believe is his name, the international free agent, um, which we will continue to uh, have even though, or out there, even though we um, just got Lux. Um, I guess I'll show you guys a little bit of what's going on. So we go down to relievers. Guys that we're kind of looking at um, as that lefty. We were looking at Dylan Floro a little bit. Um, personality doesn't really uh, show a whole lot, which I don't really like. I want a guy that's going to come in at 31 years old and be a presence in the clubhouse. But he profiles well. He's got insane movement. Um, Played just at replacement level last year for Minnesota after getting traded. Um, but solid ERA and played very well for Miami prior. Um, so, yeah, he could be a good late inning guy, uh, but he's looking for $5 million. So, um, we'll see about that one. Um, another one we we're kind of looking at is Jake McGee at uh, 36 years old. Uh, just kind of a laid back dude, uh, high loyalty, but uh, solid closer for San Francisco in 2021. Traded to the Yankees, didn't perform too well uh, last year, but had a decent season for the Giants prior um, at 36 years old. I mean, he's uh, he's getting older, but not terrible, um, but signability is hard, so I'm sure that he's actually going to be fun to to play for us so those were kind of two guys that we were looking at um will smith maybe too but he's probably looking to play for more of a contender so i don't know we'll see we might extend something at some point to if nobody if one of these guys isn't signed later in the uh later in the offseason but for now we're just going to mostly be looking at some organizational depth type guys so Ooh, Sean Doolittle. That could be a guy. I do like Sean Doolittle. He's just... Not a great ERA over his last few seasons, but... I feel like he's just a dude. He's just a dude, and sometimes just being a dude is a good thing. Yeah, we'll see. We're going to keep looking and simulating, so I will update you again soon. So looking through some of the relievers, uh, one of the guys that really caught my eye was Zach Pop, 26 years old, um, still has some time, uh, throws a pretty, throws some throws some heat um, coming out of the bullpen, side armor, uh, ground ball pitcher, um, but 
his profile, he's got some crazy movement uh, in a, with his uh, sinker slider combo, which is nice to have that movement in that stuff. So, um, last season he only pitched at a a, a high A ball. Uh, he was a Rule Five pick, I believe, for Miami um, in 2021. So, um, I mean, in where he didn't like do awful um, after only pitching at uh, a ball. So. He's a guy that we're looking at um, that I think that we're going to offer a minor league contract to, at least try. Um, see where that takes us. It might put him off a little bit, but um, worth looking into. So Another guy that I think we're going to offer a contract to is Jose Alvarado. Uh, just a, a guy that throws gas. Um it's terrible control, but it could be a guy that, I mean, in my opinion, profiles more a lot like uh, uh, Juan Soto in our bullpen right now, lefty. Um, so, strikeout kind of guy, um, below uh, war or a replacement level just last season with a real high ERA. But we can get this guy in a minor league contract. Um, that's another one that we, I think, is worth taking a chance on. So, um, we're going to keep looking. So, Josh Lester, um, one of our uh, bigger minor league free agents that we uh, offered a minor league contract to, declined it. But we are going to reach back out and offer him a minor league contract with major league option at $8 million, or $800,000. We'll see what he says. Um, okay. So we're going to offer him a million. And see how that goes. Okay. And then we're going to submit that. So just wanted to update you guys on that. So looking through free agents, uh, one of the guys that thinking about... Um, Bringing on could be Miguel Sano. Uh, big strikeout guy, but also has some solid power um, with 36 home runs and 30 in the year before. Driving in a good amount of RBIs as well. So, has played above his replacement level, has above 100 OPS plus, um, a solid OPS. So, I mean... At 29 years old, he's looking for a one-year deal at four. I think that we might extend an offer to him for uh, a one-year deal for two million and see how that is taken. But uh, uh, yeah, okay. He did didn't like that one, so. I don't know. I don't know if he's worth four million, um, especially with our ten million dollar budget. So we're gonna keep simming. We actually haven't simmed very long, so we're gonna keep simming. Uh, see how things go with the offers that we have out there on the table. Just a quick update on how things are going. Uh, our scout Scott Place has found a. Uh, Dominican center fielder that actually profiles decently um, right now. High speed, really good defensive player. It looks like he could be. So that's kind of cool to see that the uh, money we're spending on um, development and scouting um, is turning out. But another update, Zach Pop did not like the offer. Uh, says he won't be uh, playing for us unless we can give him a major league contract. So... We're going to kind of hold off on that for now um, and just kind of keep going. It's only been six days since the last time that I updated you. So um, we're going to keep simming and see how the rest of our uh, offers out there turn out. So a few of the big uh, things that have happened around the league so far. Um, as of December 13th, um, the other major or the other uh, Major international free agents Nelson Huerta has agreed to uh, a five-year deal worth twenty million, um, just over twenty million, uh, with the Braves. Um, so good for the Braves. Hopefully, it turns out for them. And Carlos Correa has actually signed with the Boston Red Sox on a four-year, thirty-two million dollar deal. So 
big signing for the Red Sox, but uh, yeah, other than that, uh, that's just a few things I wanted to update you guys. All right, so it is officially the start of the winter meetings. Um, I'm sure we'll be busy, um, but Josh Lester um, pretty much said he'll sign a deal with us unless somebody else offers us something better. Jose Alvarado, the fireballer, um, lefty, um, pretty offended by our minor league deal, so he won't be uh, playing for us unless we offer him a big league contract. And Frank Soto, the other uh, major international free agent, likes our uh, minor league option or minor league deal with a major league option for four million, um, and he will sign that with us unless somebody else um, offers him something. Um, the draft lottery um, results have been announced, and um, the first six picks uh, belong to the Rangers at first, the Pirates, uh, Phillies, Guardians, A's, and Nationals. So as the winter meetings have begun, uh, some deals have been made. Uh, Mitch Garver uh, being sent to... The Yankees for a five-player uh, minor league package uh, kind of fits the profile for New York after hitting 37 home runs in Texas last year. The Astros um, have acquired Frankie Montas for three um, prospects, so kind of the last piece that Oakland had to kind of trade um, has finally been dealt Clayton Kershaw has signed with the Dodgers again uh, over four years. Wow, 34. So he's signed with the Dodgers through uh, his 38, age 38 season for $14 million. Uh, Pollock has also re-signed with the Dodgers for four years at 35 years old for 30, or $73 million. So two guys that are locked up until 38 and 39 years old. Um, Reds have signed Michael Renzen back um, to a uh, one-year deal. And the Mariners have acquired Whit Merrifield. So definitely some trades happening um, uh, one day into the uh, uh, winter meetings. So we are going to grant Zach Pop his... Uh, actually, we're going to try for a million... Um, after offering him only or eight hundred thousand, I believe um, we're gonna see what he says. Um, he likes it, or it's a decent offer. Um, I just really like his profile. Um, I like his movement. Um, he's only twenty six, so he'll be signed to a minor league deal. Um, so we'll have thirty days um, to uh, to bring him up to the big club if he doesn't make it out of spring training. So, looking forward to seeing what he says. So we are now at the Rule 5 draft. Um, we have the 11th pick. Let's see what we can look at. Or what we can see um, in terms of players that we could possibly make something happen with. Anthony Ghost, left-hander. Um, played for us actually a few years back, but as a uh, yeah 2016, um, but as an outfielder, uh, throws some heat, lefty, controls pretty bad, profile similar to the Alvarado guy that we uh, were looking to sign. Not seeing really anybody that really sticks out. Uh, we'll keep looking, and I will update you. So actually, we have found somebody that is that catches my eye a bit. Uh, Jordan Diaz, um, corner infielder possibility to play some left field uh, might train him up a bit on that in the off season uh, or spring training um just profiles pretty well contact hitter with some power could be a good uh has some good eyes at the bat 
or at the dish. Uh, highest level he's played is double A, but I mean he's hit at every level he's played at, and hit, even hit 16 home runs for 59 RBIs. Nice OPS plus, solid OPS. I think we might take a chance on him. Um, we got a guy, or we got guys right now at our big league club like Willie Castro and Zach Short that can be disposable, I guess you could say. Um, so I think that's probably what we're gonna do um, because obviously Diaz is gonna have to spend his time at the major league club um, in order for us to maintain him at 22 years old. So spray hitter as well. So he works hard. Um, so I, I really like. Uh, I really like this guy, uh, but I think we're going to take a chance on him. Yeah, all right. So we are, we did draft Jordan uh, Alvarez, I believe his name was. Sorry, forgetting already. Um, and we are going to auto draft um, in the rest of the draft. Um, we. We aren't, um, we aren't wanting to give more than one player a shot uh, through the World 5 rules, um, so could be a good pickup for us. Excited to see how that works out, um, but yeah, we'll see. So update for you all, we have signed Frank Soto, the uh, other big international free agent for this year. Profiles as a middle infielder, so could see time at second. Um, but he we signed him to a minor league with a major league option uh, for four million. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we have signed Zach Pop as well. Looks like he's slotting into IA West Michigan right now. Um, so, and then the Giants have just offered us a trade, and I actually haven't even looked at this yet, so. They want Joe Jimenez for Diego Rincones, 23-year-old. We're going to decline that, um, although they are retaining 70% of his contract. Uh, I don't know, I... We're doing this live. Um, right fielder. No, I don't. Oh, I thought it said relief pitcher at first. So no, we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to maintain Joe. So here's a bit of an update. What's going around on around the league? Uh, Josh Bell has signed a seven-year deal for twenty-one million um, with the Chicago Cubs. Um, the Guardians. Made a small trade. Um, Milwaukee signs Charlie Morton, the 20, 39 year old, um, to a two year deal uh, to his 40, age 41 season. Joe Ross signs a uh, three year deal for uh, nearly six million with the San Francisco Giants. Uh, Joe Musgrove is going back to Pittsburgh on a seven year deal worth $150 million. So a big signing there for Pittsburgh who is looking to rebuild. Um, Guriel re-signs with the Astros on a two-year deal um, worth almost $30 million. Um, Lorenzo Cain signs a three-year deal for $51 million with the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, Pineda, um, solid pitcher for us last year, signs with our division rival, um, the White Sox, on a two-year deal worth $12 million. Floro, the guy that we had our eye on this offseason, hoping to get cheap if he wouldn't didn't sign with anybody, um, which actually it looks like he did uh, sign a relatively cheaper deal than what he was looking for with the Angels. Um, Seth Lugo signs with the Cardinals um, on a four-year $38 million deal, so good for the 33-year-old right-hander. Uh, Chad Green signs a three-year deal worth $22 million with the uh, division rival Cleveland Guardians. Zunino signs on with the uh, 
St. Louis uh, Cardinals on a five-year, $86 million deal, so he will be the replacement for Yadier Molina, which is some pretty big shoes to fill. But um, Iglesias signs an $82 million deal with the uh, Nationals, and the White Sox made a package trade, essentially. So, yeah, the... Uh, Nationals are signing or making some moves with Brantley and um, Iglesias. Gotta, gotta when you have a guy like uh, Juan Soto. So, all right, I will give you an update in a bit. All right, so we have twelve million dollars in in our budget right now um, for free agents. Um, I think that. Um, we are going to reach out to JP Fireisen and offer him a three-year deal of some sort. Um, maybe not for, maybe we front load, I think we're going to front load it and kind of reduce it on the back end. Yeah, let's see what he says about this deal. Okay, so he likes it. We kind of front loaded it. Um, so then it's a little bit less for us to take in on the back end if he doesn't, if he's not performing the way we wish. But we are going to submit that uh, a three year, $12 million deal uh, total. Uh, JP's a guy that I, I like. Profile It's good. He's a mid 90s fastball or mid 90s pitcher, fly ball pitcher, which profiles decently um, at Comerica Park. Um, Often speaks without thinking isn't great, but he's got a high work ethic and low greed. So, and he's pitched relatively well over the last few seasons. So, yeah, definitely a guy that I think uh, is worth extending a three year deal to if he uh, decides to sign it. All right. So, FireEyesen did uh, sign our deal after about two weeks of simulating. Um, so, both sides are pleased with the idea. Or with the deal. Um, on the face of it, the sports writers question the wisdom of the freshly uh, signed pact between Fire Eyes and um, on the face of it, all is well, but th though insiders say there could be repercussions in the clubhouse if Fire Eyes and stats starts running his mouth as he uh is best known to which yeah he is uh he's a speaker without thinking kind of guy which was in his profile so um he's a guy we're taking a chance on but i like his profile so we'll see how it turns out so we are going to be offering Tyler Gilbert a minor league contract, 29-year-old, uh, just won a World Series championship with the Toronto Blue Jays, spent most of his time at uh, in AAA, um, but a guy that uh, can bolster a AAA uh, Toledo uh, pitching staff a little bit, I think, so... That's kind of what we're doing now um, on January 18th uh, with not long to go until the preseason begins. We're also going to be uh, sending a minor league uh, contract to Cam Bedrosian, the 31-year-old. Uh, Five-pitch mix as a reliever. Um, has good stuff, low movement, low control, but uh, worth seeing what he can do at uh, with his uh, five-pitch mix. Um, could be a good depth guy for us. We're also going to be uh, giving Brian Holiday, a guy that's been in our uh, organization in years past, um, a minor league contract offer, um, another organizational depth kind of guy. We don't have much behind uh, Dingler down in the minors, so in case some injuries happen or something, it'll be nice to have a solid defensive catcher that we can call on. So we have uh, answers from both uh, Tyler Gilbert and Cam Bedrosian. Uh, they will be signing our deal unless um, they, unless somebody else um, offers them a better option. All right, so we have officially signed Bedrosian and um, 
Gilbert. Looks like Gilbert will be in uh, AAA with Bedrosian being starting the season in AA as of now. Brian Holiday not thrilled with our offer. Uh, he says he deserves a ma major league deal, which I don't necessarily. So I'm not sure that we'll continue um, negotiating with him. So it is Feb February 7th. We're cl getting closer to the start of spring training. Um, Illich uh, has upped our budget to $150 million, um, after seeing uh, how our offseason has gone. So that's nice to see that we uh, earned ourselves a little bit of money there. So we have received a trade offer from Milwaukee. It's actually the second trade offer they've sent us um, for Spencer Turnbull. Um, Apparently a guy that they uh, highly prize, um, but this one is for an 18-year-old catcher. Um, not anything that really stands out. Very below average defensive catcher as well, so I don't think that we're going to be uh, accepting this one. But it is a little bit more enticing than the one previous that was just awful, in my opinion. So, all right, we're going to keep going. It's now February 14th. Um, we have received a trade from the Oakland A's sending us, uh, or proposing to send us Shea Langoliers for Derek Hill. Um, Jake Holton, a 24-year-old first baseman at the Erie level, and Jackson Job, who is our 2021 first-round pick. Um, not something, Shea Langoliers is definitely enticing. Um, he's, got a, he's got a good profile for a catcher, a uh, solid defensive catcher like average could be above a little bit above average the good arm but giving up job is not exactly what we want to do um as well as hill uh somebody that could still prove himself to be solid and actually is slotted to start for us in center field still this year so i think we are going to reject that trade So kind of looking at some of the guys that are uh, currently on our 40-man roster. Um, we only have 36 currently uh, and nobody on the injured list. So we do have four spots remaining on our 40-man. Um, with that being said, I do want to see how Dingler can do this season um, in the my or in um, In, trip, or in spring training, sorry, stumbling over my words. So we're going to place him on our 40-man roster. Um, give him a shot in, uh, in spring training, see how he does. Um, kind of going to go through this a little bit and see who else, any other guys that might be worth giving a bit of a shot to. So... So we did also uh, give Soto a uh, chance on our 40-man roster. Sign him for $4 million. Might as well see what he can do out of spring training and see if he can make the big club. Um, he does have a month um, on his minor league uh, deal with a major league option. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how he does in uh, spring training. All right, to finally cap off this episode, we are three days away from the beginning of uh, spring training. Um, so we are going to kind of go through our 40-man roster quick. Um, Tyler Alexander, Miguel Diaz, uh, a guy that kind of that started the season as a reliever and actually started uh, pitching as a starter in AAA, did really well. He even did good with us uh, in his four games uh, as a reliever. Uh, last season so um, Alex Fayedo, Lange, two guys that uh, could earn themselves a bullpen spot uh, but will be starting at AAA as starters uh, Mize, Erod, Scooble, Turnbull uh, three, four of our starters along with Alexander or Manning uh, but it looks like Manning's going to be slotted into the bullpen again this year um Fire Eisen, our new starter, or a new signing, a uh, three year deal. Bunkhauser, Garcia, Ryan, Ronnie Garcia, Hutchinson. Hopefully he can main, er, continue with another good season. Joe Jimenez, uh, another guy that we uh, are looking to have another good season. Manning, 
slotted as a relief pitcher right now. I believe he's in the setup role. Uh, last I looked, Ramon Rosso, uh, a guy that really didn't get a whole lot of time with us last season. I actually spent time at Double uh, A and Triple A. Didn't perform well in Triple A. Soto, left-handed specialist last season. We'll see what his role is this year. Will Vest, another guy that came in and did well for us. Um, 27 years old. Jason Foley, the closer for AAA as of right now. Um, and Sequeira actually slotted to be our closer uh, this season with his really good profile. Uh, mid to low 90s fast, or uh, yeah, fastball with that crazy stuff and a really good curveball. So. Dingler, we just added to the 40 man. Eric Haas and Rogers all fighting for time at the starting role. Um, wouldn't be opposed to even giving Dingler some time if he uh, earns it. Torkelson, um, we all know about him. Willie Castro is on the chopping block. Um, he's definitely going to have to prove himself. Uh, Lux, our new uh, starting second baseman as of right now, uh, got him in a trade uh, this season for. Daz Cameron, um, and a uh, rookie ball uh, shortstop. Zach Short, guy that played a lot for us last year at second base after trading away uh, Jonathan Scope. Jamer Candelario, guy that really needs to prove himself if, if he wants to get an extension from us this season. Uh, Jordan Diaz, our Rule 5 uh, pick, um, will be spending time on our big league roster this year. Uh, profiles well. Um, Pretty good solid first baseman, but probably won't get a whole lot of time there. More of a third base, a future third baseman possibly. Um, actually is a third baseman right now in his position, listed at his position. Um, might train him up a little bit in left field. Um, Javier Baez, big player for us. Frank Soto, our international free agent signing. Akil Badu, Austin Meadows. Two guys that will be starting for us. Derek Hill looks to be our starting center fielder this year as well. Jake Myers, a guy we traded for last year. Um, hoping that he improves a little bit this year um, after not doing too well for us in AAA. Uh, Riley Green, uh, hopeful future stud. And Victor Reyes, uh, mainstay from last year as well. So that is our 40-man roster going into spring training. Thank you so much for watching. This episode is obviously going to be a little bit longer. It looks to be about 52 minutes, so uh, enjoy it, um, and we will see you in the next one.